Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, lecturer in computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to add and change chart titles in Excel 2010. So this is what I would like to achieve by the end of this video. A nice histogram, simple histogram diagram here drawn representing these data up on the left hand side. The data are quarterly figures for three different types of fruit. I'd like to represent these on a histogram, which you see here, but I'd also like to be able to label my histogram with a chart title up here at the top, to label the uh, Y or the um, vertical axis here on the left-hand side, and also the horizontal axis or X-axis down here at the bottom to be able to label that and to maybe change some format for the legend down in the right-hand side here. So let's say we want to create a histogram just like this one that we see here. So let's see how we go about doing that. Let's remove the histogram, and here I have my data simply uh, displayed here in a tabular format on my spreadsheet. I've got my quarterly figures and columns, and I've got my three different types of fruit here on the left-hand side. In order to draw my histogram, I just select all of that content there in that area, all the headings and the amounts, and choose the insert ribbon across the top. Next, select the column, and the type I wanted here is a 3D column or clustered column chart, so select that. And this creates a histogram here, um, very similar to the one I've just shown you that I want to get to. So how do I get my chart labels on this histogram here? When you have a histogram sele selected here like this, the chart tools ribbon appears at the top of the screen. If you don't see this, it means that you have not selected the histogram window here. In the chart tools ribbon, the, the central tab is called the layout tab. And I'm going to use this to insert my chart title. So in the label section over here towards the mid-left, there is a chart title option. I'm going to select that. And I want to place my chart title above my chart, so I'm going to select the above chart option. You can see straight away that Excel resizes the actual histogram itself in order to make room for my chart title. Now what I'd like to have in my chart title is this text over here at the top of my spreadsheet, the XYZ Quarterly Fruit Sales 2011. So I'm just going to mark and select that text and copy it to my clipboard. And then the chart title, it's actually an editable box and I can select that and simply paste in my title over that there or delete it and paste whichever way you, you choose to prefer doing that. And I now have a nice tidy centered heading over my chart. Now let's say next I want to add a heading or to the um, vertical axis here or y-axis here on the left-hand side. So I go back to my Chart Tools ribbon, select Layout again, and this time under the Label section I'm going to select Access Titles. And this allows me to add titles to the uh, vertical axis and the horizontal axis. So let me choose the horizontal axis first, and I want to just have simply a title below the axis, so select that. Excel again resizes the histogram in order to accommodate my title, so I'm going to double click on the text down here and just type in, in this case here I'm going to use the example sales by quarter. So that's a simple text box that's down there. Let me do the same again, select access titles from the layout chart tools ribbon and this time I want to select the primary vertical access title and I want to have a simple uh, type of label title labelled on the horizontal axis here, so just select horizontal title. Once again, the default text of access title appears here, and I'm going to choose the word revenue to type in here as my horizontal label. So I'm almost there to create the chart that I wanted to do. So this is adding the titles to the charts, but what if I want to change them? Now, as I've pointed out, each of these areas, each of these boxes here is a text box. So all I need to do is double click on them and I can change any of the text inside. So, for example, if I wanted to just remove X, Y and Z up here, um, Excel um, allows me to delete that and maintains the, the center aspect of my chart title over my histogram. If I select the revenue box here, and we can see that the text is actually quite a little bit small. So if I go to my home ribbon, I can change the size of the text here just by increasing the size of the font. So I'm going to increase the size font 14. And I'm going to do the same with the horizontal axis down here, sales by quarter. I'm going to increase the size to font size 14. You can see in all cases that the chart resizes in order to accommodate um, the labels or any changes in the labels that I make. 
If I want to move the legend down, I can drag it and move this around as much as I want. And I can also, if I want in this case, reduce the chart, uh, the legend text size. Finally, if I wanted to make some um, other font changes to the um, text here, I can select the text, go to my home ribbon, and for example, I could change the color, so I could change it to a bright color here, let's say red, for example. I can also select this text here and change it to italics. Um, if I wanted to change any of the other um, labels here, I can select these and um, make them italic. Or I can change the font type and the font size at any stage that I choose to do. So that completes our video on how to create and add and change chart titles in Excel 2010. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.